want to say the DI Pro Green is more or less like, I would say it's in all papers. I've never seen such a product where as a fertilizer, you can use it for crop production as well as animal uh, production. Yeah, in the animals, we use it as a nutritional supplement, okay? What it does there is just to help our animals to grow with this nice tender meat. If it's milk production, definitely you are going to get your nice, you know, milk. Uh, what we do, for example, in cattle, the first thing you look at is the age of the cattle. For a, an animal, a cattle which is about 18 months old, it is still a calf. At the time you win it off uh, from uh, sucking from the mother, you can uh, give it what we call dry grow grain, uh, the five meals, or others will use simple one to say a teaspoon. You put it in 10 liters of water and get a half a thumb full of coarse salt. You add it to that solution. You can give it to your animal. They take it as water or drink some water. But you can as well mix it with the feed. If you are giving the feed like um, our friends who are running these uh, 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 ranches. For the bigger animals, you need to get the same teaspoon or the five mils. Add it to five mils, I mean five liters of water. Get a handful of coarse salt. Add it to that solution, you can give it to your animals. That's the bigger animals. But then, to the other small animals like the goats, pigs, you can just do the same way I mentioned about the calves. The only thing you don't do there is to add the salt. To the poultry, the same. You get your one teaspoon or five mils, add to 10 liters of water, you can give your poultry. Be it village chicken, be it uh, exotic chickens, you can give it. There's no problem with that. The only thing you don't need to do is one, the day when you vaccinate your chickens, don't give it the agro. Again, if you're already using these other you know, supplements, uh, I would rather advise that you either use the di grow or you continue with the other stuff. Then to the fish, what we usually recommend that for those who are doing like one hectare pond, you need about four liters of di grow green, which you can pour into your fish pond, mixing it nicely. In that uh, fish pond is what we call planktons. Others may call it algae. That's the feed which the, the fish eat. Mm -hmm. to make those grow fast and the fish also take the egg grow through the you know the water through the gills and like that the fish which you probably expect it to be harvested maybe in six seven months you may harvest them early maybe five months and the kind of fish you are going to get even the in terms of yield will be quite you know increased that's the beauty about this egg grow grain okay. yeah so basically that's what happens with the livestock Yes. So now, enlighten us over the general benefits of using Diagro. Well, uh, Diagro, being an organic uh, foliar fertilizer, it's one, I would say it's environmentally uh, friendly, mm -hmm. meaning it is non-toxic. Okay. Yeah, no wonder you can give it to the livestock. Secondly, when you look at the yield in terms of, um, in comparison with other fertilizers, it's able to increase the yield from 30% to about 300%. Just imagine, as long as you have uh, done what we call uh, priming, where you need to soak your seed before you can uh, actually plant it. I think I'll come to that later. The other benefit which you get from uh, dry grow is that one, it increases the shelf life, uh, shelf life, like I mentioned earlier on, where you can harvest your crop, for example, tomato, it will stay for quite a number of days before it can go bad. Mm -hmm. Be it maybe a, a flower, uh, those who are dealing with the flowers. The other issue that um, there's an increment in, in terms of the use itself or percentages which you are going to gain from it from 8 to 20 percent in terms of effectiveness as compared to the chemical fertilizers. So in a nutshell, I'll say those are some of the benefits, general benefits this day grow has as compared to other fertilizers. Okay. So I want you to tell us uh, over the, the cost benefit of DI agri in comparison with chemical fertilizers. Yes. yes. I, I always give you this example of uh, 
one who's doing one hectare of maize and using the chemical fertilizers, uh, you realize that if you're going to do one hectare of maize, you require about four bags of basal dressing by 50 kg, which is compound D. You also require another four bags of top dressing, in this case could be urea. Let's give you a minimum cost of 250. I'm not saying that's the price as at now, but I want to give it like, that's the minimum price. It means already for the eight bags, we are talking about 2,000 kwacha. For us, if we are going to do the same field,